Hey Geminis and welcome to my channel. I want to thank you for joining me um, as I'm doing your October 2018 monthly love reading. I'm going to tip you on down here so you guys can see the cards being shuffled as they fall out. Um, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So if this doesn't resonate with you, please, um, I encourage you to check out your other signs. Uh, I encourage you to do that anyway. So a lot of times you'll find that you resonate with your moon or your Venus um, when it comes to love. So I encourage you to check them all out. All right. The first card that flipped already. Not messing around. You guys have a new outlook on life, a new attitude towards the future. And you are successfully coming out of a thick cloud of confusion surrounding um, your future, your love life, um, just your partner in general, or one you are hoping to um, bring forward. But it's just one of clarity. You have a whole vision in front of you, and it's it's sent to you from the divine. It's going to be nothing but successful. Um, and it's bringing a lot of excitement for you. You guys also have the page of cups that just came out. So you guys, uh, this is all about putting yourself out there, um, making it be known that you are going after what you want, what you need. Um, you're having uh, a new opportunity and your finances come forward and it's going to be a opportunity that you are going to love. You may be a little hesitant at first, but um, I encourage you to to look into the facts um, in regards to this because it is going to bring you um, new excitement and success. Um, a lot of you are finally allowing your emotions to even out, to level out. Your cups are all here. They're sturdy. They're full. <clears throat> Excuse me. And you are very content in the position that you are in right now. Um, if you're in a relationship, you are you are happy with it. If you are single, you are just fine. Um, but you're you're thinking more practical about the future, and um, and you're you're going in to this next phase, this next chapter of your life, with your eyes wide open. But your prayers are being answered. Um, you have big, exciting things coming for you in October and um, moving on into November. Oh, um, emotionally, you guys are finding balance, finding peace, finding uh, patience, self-healing, self-love. Um, and for a lot of you, your... Um, you're feeling comfortable with where you're at, and that is going to bring in your wish, your partner that you're meant to spend your life with. The um, the equal exchange of emotions and love and it being blessed by the divine, by the angel here. So you're just, you're coming out of a time where you have been beaten up, battled, and broken. You, um, yeah, you... You're coming out with a couple battle scars, but you're healing and you're doing an amazing job at it. All right. The 10 of cups. So you are finding emotional abundance in your pleasure. You're having fun with somebody. You're allowing your heart to be on your sleeve and and they are reciprocating reciprocating <laughs> that um that emotion right back at you you're having fun you're going out you're you're enjoying yourself um this could be with a with a new love or with just friends family enjoying life to the fullest right now in the month of October yeah, you guys aren't holding back anymore. You are moving ahead full force, full steam ahead. And uh, you're understanding life in a way 
that is different from how you've been approaching it in the past. Um, you, not that you were like an earth sign energy slow, but you were cautious. You thought about all the consequences, um, all the outcomes that could possibly happen before moving forward. And not anymore. You are charging in full steam ahead and finding much success in the way that in the way that you're thinking things out, the way you're understanding your um, this new chapter in your life. Yeah, you're going to come in and sweep someone off your feet or someone else is going to. Um, this is very exciting being right next to the Ten of Cups. Your partner um, is opening up communication with you. You could be receiving messages or phone calls, internet. Some sort of communication is being... Um, received from your partner because you have healed from this past, um, this past battle, uh, whatever that may be in your life. Um, and there are going, they are going to reach out to you, uh, in the month of October, it's going to move very quickly and move right into the 10 of cups because it, because you're, you're coming into the month with nothing but clear thoughts and a clear vision of where you want to be and where you're going. And you're not letting anybody stop you. This is also being struck by Cupid's arrow. Um, so you are finding love in the month of October. All right. Some of you are taking a new risk in work. Like I said, um, you're putting yourself out there. You're showing what it is that you have to offer and you're not holding back. And that's manifesting a new opportunity um, into, into your reality, into your everyday life. And I just can't tell you enough, Gemini, how much success you are going to have. Um, some of you are um, taking a risk in love. You are putting yourself out there. Because while you are in a time of thinking, a time of meditation, and a time of retreating from the world and everybody in it, you found your light. You found yourself. Um, you found your truth. And you're going to put yourself out there and risk um, risk it all. You're, you are saying, here's what I got. Here's what it is. Do you want it or do you not? Because let's go. Some of you are dealing with a Virgo, a Sagittarius. Um or a water sign, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah. Um, you guys are, are broadening your vision. You guys are finding balance. You are throwing caution to the wind and catching them with, e catching it with ease. Um, you're finding a balance between work and home, between love and money, between, um, love of yourself, love of a partner, um, you just really have it together in October, Gemini. Amazing energy for you guys. All right. Wow. Got five cards that came out for um, your inner self. So you guys are looking within. You um, you guys are dealing with this new full moon that's that'll be here the 24th of September as I'm recording this before that. But that full moon energy is allowing you to release. It's allowing you to go deep within, look within that inner self, in your own shadow side. It's, it's giving you the opportunity to dig all that up and purge it, release it, get rid of it. You have no room in uh, your energy space for that which that does not serve you or that, um, that lurks in your shadow side. Uh, you are taking the time to rest, to think this through. You're not rushing um, as far as your own inner healing. Uh, you took the time to, to do the self-work, to do the inner work, to acknowledge the things that aren't always so pretty, and to release it. Um, you also have the judgment card here. So you're being offered the opportunity um, to have a second chance with somebody. And actually you have the opportunity for a new relationship with two different people. One being an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, 
one being a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Um, both of these people coming into your life um, are very, very good candidates. They are um, all about their family. They're all about uh, putting you on a pedestal, really. Uh, they're grounded. They're spiritually centered. They are vibrating at an amazing level. And you have manifested these people into your life um, because of the hard work that you did to uh, find balance and self-healing with that temperance card. So you have two opportunities coming towards you in um, October to love choices. Um, the judgment card is here, which is a second chance for being rewarded or um, having to answer for that, what you have done in the past. But this doesn't have to be in this lifetime. So um, these could be two totally new people in this lifetime, but they're from people from your past lives. Or these are people that you have uh, been in a relationship with in this lifetime. It's going to be different for everybody. But either choice you pick is going to be an amazing partner for you. This is a new beginning with a fool. Um, I do see this fire sign coming in very quickly. Uh, very... Uh, yeah, very passionate, very quick. Um, for the majority of you, I do see you picking the fire sign. But um, for some of you, you are picking the king of pentacles. Um, the stable choice, the reliable one. Um, but for, like I said, for the majority of you, this is an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, because I see all three of them here. But you are um, having... And picking the fire sign here. But if you pick the earth sign, that is okay too. Because they look pretty damn amazing. Alright. And look at that. <laughs> a commitment is coming. A, a higher level of uh, relationship is on its way for you, Gemini, in October. Any other messages for our Geminis? Amazing month for you guys. October is going to be very exciting. Um, I have all 12 Zodiacs done um, for the channeled messages. Um, I encourage you all to be watching for those. I will release those tomorrow during the full moon. <clears throat> because um, the channeled messages I got are amazing for Gemini in October. I'm so excited to release those. So be watching for those if that's something you enjoy um, instead of watching me pull cards. But this relationship is coming for you guys because you ended a chapter in your life. You had a major completion point. And um, with that completion, you guys are, um, are getting the blessing of the universe, the, the opportunity of a love of a lifetime. And I say that because it is also out with the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Swords. So you are going to be in a new beginning with somebody, whether it be somebody of your past or somebody new. It doesn't matter. This person is throwing caution to the wind, as are you. They are entering your life very quickly, or you to them. And I don't think it gets much better than this um, combination. Um, you are going to be emotionally fulfilled, abundant. Um, this person is just going to rock your world. And you are to them as well. Whoa. I'm not going to keep any of those because I didn't call for them yet. Um, but yeah, this is going to be a great month for you guys. I'm so excited for the, uh, for this group of people because it is well-deserved. Uh, you put in a lot of hard work in, uh, in, in healing yourself because, uh, you had been broken in the past and you deserve this. All right. Spirit angels, what messages do you have in love? For Gemini in the month of October. All right. Spirit Angels, what messages do you have for them in October? Please and thank you. 
Well, one wanted to fly out there, but I didn't quite get it. Oh, wow. Well, like I said, some of you have an amazing, 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 amazing October coming for you. For this group of you, Wow. You are coming into a relationship of a lifetime. This is somebody that you are destined to have um, for the rest of your life. This is a life partner, a soulmate um, relationship that is coming towards you, twin flame, whatever you want to call it. It is a connection that you will um, that you will enjoy for a lifetime. Your advice cards from the angels are the winged wise ones. I will re read out of the book for that. And when this card comes to you, it is always an ally and never a challenger. The wi winged wise ones represent the aid of all the angels. When you enter their realm, know that your sincere prayers will be answered according to the will of the divine. Like I said, prayers being answered. Um, this also represents divine intervention and the, oops, I'm sorry. I apologize for that. Um, uh, no, if, okay. When you enter their realm, know that your sincere prayers will be answered according to the will of the divine. This also represents divine intervention and the potential of miracles to heal and transform your situation as if by magic. Have faith. Whatever your circumstances, heavenly beings are watching over you. The winged wise ones give you a glimpse of the future by offering you messages whispered on the wind. These are translated within you as inspired thought and instantly unraveling the past and revealing the present. Be aware of your higher consciousness in you. This is a good time to observe your thoughts through meditation. Who, who is observing those thoughts? That self is kin to the winged wise ones who have come to help you soar. It is now time for you to ascend into a higher level of relationship and spirituality. And the second card that came out was the Fire Prince. And he comes to you as an ally. When the Fire Prince arrives as your ally, he lets you know that he is represented. He represents the invisible forces behind all manner of manifestation. And he brings you the gift of optimism. You will be rightly inspired to move forward and take confident and assertive action to reach your goals. Envisioning the path of the highest good with an optimistic outlook, the Fire Prince also brings you the gift of a miracle. Things come together as if they were created by magic and they come in the reality you seek. You have every reason to be hopeful. Move forward knowing that you have everything you need and more. Just remember to share the enthusiasm, believe in others, and be optimistic for them too, as your good fortune will soon multiply. So both cards signify a connection and a situation that comes to you as if by magic. Amazing. Both these cards. Be optimistic about your relationships, about your connections, about um, your future, because... Uh, in October, it looks pretty damn good. And you guys have the help of the divine and your angels. So what can go wrong? All right. For this group of you, you have a very exciting October coming. Be watching for channeled messages. Um, they won't let you down. So thank you once again for coming to my channel. I much appreciate your guys' energy and your continuous support. It makes my journey one that I will never forget and one that... I couldn't imagine would be this amazing. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. As always, I send you love, light, and God bless.